So in a very real sense, we should actually start expecting major game producers to start their own streaming services. Welcome back to the Xbox Basement, everybody. It is no secret that game makers have been going more and more digital. And the number one argument I hear against this is that gamers love to have a physical media disc because digital just feels like it's only rented. And I don't think that we're going to see the removal of digital games anytime soon because we know the next generation Xbox is going to be all digital. And our good friends over at Statista have been tracking this since 2009. So so in the UK in 2022, almost 90% of games that were sold were completely 100% digital. So that means 9 out of every 10 games that were sold were completely digital downloads. And here in the US, we're seeing the same trend. In 2018, 83% of all games that were sold were in the digital format, 83%, and that was back in 2018. And I don't know if these percentages are a shock to you, but this just just proves that it's a trend that we have been seeing for a while. And I'm sure a lot of you watching already know this. There has been a massive shift to digital. So I would actually push back against the statement of gamers want a physical media disc because the sales that we've been seeing since 2009 are honestly just the way that our technology is evolving, especially here in America with shopping online through Amazon, having things delivered to your home, faster and better connected internet speeds, we have had this massive shift away from it being necessary to leave your home. And that is really the appeal of digital. Instead of having to go to a game store, all I have to do is fire up my console or my PC, and I have a huge game store right here without needing to leave my home. But let's tackle the argument of digital feels like it's only rented. Show of hands if you were old enough to remember things like Blockbuster, or Hollywood video, if you put your hand up, I'm sure that you have a Friday night story. A Friday night story goes like this. It's Friday night and you and your family go to the movie rental place and you ask your parents to rent a video game for you. Now, back in those days, it was always a gamble because you didn't know exactly how this game was gonna go other than looking at the box art or maybe a friend told you about it. But getting that game home and playing it, you knew you only had it for a limited amount of time. And whether yours was on cartridge or on disc, you knew that this game was rented. So while it can feel like having a physical disc or a cartridge in your hand can make you feel like you actually own a game, I know the experience of not actually owning a game and I just have to say that our games are moving more towards streaming. A lot of that has to do with the size of the game, but you can actually thank Netflix for this for being a pioneer into the streaming media. Once upon a time, Netflix carried most things. But now we've seen breaks into Disney and Paramount and MGM and everybody has their own streaming service. And it's going the exact same way for us as gamers. If you want to play Xbox games, you subscribe to Xbox Game Pass. If you want to play Nintendo games, you subscribe to Nintendo Online. If you want to play PlayStation games, you subscribe to PlayStation Plus. So the theme here is subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And it's not just the big three console makers. We've seen this with Ubisoft and we're seeing this with EA. So in a very real sense, we should actually start expecting major game producers like Sega or Konami or Capcom or Take-Two to start their own streaming services. Now you could argue that there's a lot more game studios than there are like the video streaming, but these major, major publishers that have been around for a long time, they could support something like this. Now, I don't think they're going to be independent. I think we're going to see them do what EA is currently doing now, which is piggybacking off of whatever streaming service you have. So if you're an Ultimate subscriber like me, you have access to EA Play, which is of course included with Game Pass. But I would expect to see other big time, long time producers that have a large backlog of games to start doing this streaming add-on. And what is it going to take you, Ash? 
ask only an additional monthly charge. And I will admit, I was surprised at those statistics that such a high percentage is digital now, mostly because I'm engrossed with the Xbox community and a ton of people online still say we want physical discs. And while I don't like being nickel and dime to death with the streaming add-ons, I do think it's something that we will see in the future. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. If you liked it, you know what to do. I've been John, by the way, and as always, we will see you in the next one.